In the planning phase, the advantage of the digital system is that you can plan your setups better and where to go with the breakout boxes since only network cables need to be laid in between. And network cables don't cause any problems in comparison to cables as thick as your arm which were needed for analog connections. In a life situation, the main advantage for me is that no more interference can occur. In other words, the signal is in digital form starting at the microphone capsule. I can lay the cables from there. Of course, it always adds up to more than 100 meters before you arrive at the mixing console with a multicore. With a multitude of digital microphones, I naturally expect a super advantage, that is, the elimination of noise. At the mixing console, you can just go ahead and pull up the faders. With 80 digital channels, there will no longer be the noise that we used to have when turning on 80 analog amplified microphones. I find that for me a big advantage, especially in hectic situations, is that extremely little EQ is needed. There really isn't much equalizing to be done. Microphones sound the way they do right out of the box and are ready for use. Here we are working with two digital mixing consoles using Ethersound. My console here at the front of house is the master console. It sets the clock for the whole network. The colleague who comes next at the monitor position has only a digital gain control in his console. From there it goes into the DIO, the digital stage box. The digital stage box is then followed by the digital microphone interfaces and finally into my mixing console again. The entire Ethernet system operates in a ring. Additionally, since we can use only 64 channels in the Ethernet, we also have a MUPSINet here where we can use another 64 channels, also digital. One advantage with digital microphones that we have now found is that you can check the microphones directly from the mixing console and no one needs to be there. And you can control all of the settings required for the microphone, such as the gain, compressor, limiter and so on, directly from the mixing console, which has considerable advantages because the digital path comes immediately afterward. Gain settings of the microphone are beneficial for us because we do the gain directly in the microphone, then right after everything is digital and we have only digital trimmers in the console where we just fine-tune the levels a little. We have two consoles here with me at the front of house and the monitor man. And the digital gain is already done, which means we don't lose anything. A major feature of such a digital console is that the channels can be copied. 
that you can link them together and make the settings in only one channel, and this is duplicated for all the other channels. The same applies to digital microphones. Here you can also use a copy function and say, I want the setup that I now have for the first microphone to be implemented for the next microphone. I can easily imagine using the virtual soundcheck on tour. This means that at the first soundcheck, when the sound is available for the first time or during a concert, you record the orchestra and use this recording for the next soundcheck on the road to make the basic loudspeaker settings and to the stage setups when the orchestra is not yet there. When the orchestra arrives, of course, you can then make final small adjustments, but you have the advantage that you can perform soundchecks without the orchestra.